Hello, it is Sunday, March 3rd, 2013. It's another week. Not too exciting of a week, but nonetheless, it's another week, so here we go. I went to Wise Markets first. I actually found my best deals here, I'd say, which is surprising. I'm going to make this today. This is kind of being lunch and dinner. Velveeta cheesy casseroles. These are new oven baked. I got shepherd's pie, which is a creamy cheese sauce with seasoned potato flakes, premium seasonings, and vegetables. But it's made with real cheese and vegetables, which I like to have my real cheese and vegetables. It makes about four and a half one cup servings. One cup. That doesn't seem like that much. But I'll devour this box today. Here's the deal. These are on sale for $1.99, and on the Craft First Take website, I was able to print off a dollar coupon off one. So, 99 cents, which is a great deal. So, 99 cents is gonna feed me. I just have to add the beef, or chicken, or turkey. I think I have chicken and turkey. This was an impulse buy. Loeb's All Natural Onion Crunch, made with 100% real onions. These are discontinued for three twenty nine. Half of that, what did they take off? A buck sixty five. So it's like, wow, a dollar sixty five for onion topping. And I talked to the stockman, and he said they think they just got that too. So it's kind of weird. They do that all the time. They get stuff and then they discontinue it. That don't make no sense. And then we got some Sunbird seasoning. Um, these are on coupons.com. There's 80 cent coupons off one Sunbird pro product. These seasoning packets are $1.29. So it doubles to a dollar, so 29 cents a pack. I got some hot and spicy Kung Pao chicken and some stir fry seasoning mix. There's no MSG in here, you got. Even though MSG is the good stuff. And then I bought some milk. So for $4.20, I got some 99 cent milk, some cheesy casserole, some onion crunch, and some stir fry seasoning, and some Kung Pao chicken. That is a savings of 58%, $5.95. Wow. I'm looking forward to the shepherd's pie. At CVS today, I was going to buy one thing and one thing only. I was going to get jelly beans, which... Looking at the coupon matchups, there were jelly beans, 99 cents, the gold emblem, and you get 99 cent extra buck back. I did that, I didn't get a 99 cent extra buck back, and I picked up the flyer on the way out, and looking at the flyer, there's nothing in here. So this might be a regional deal, you might want to check your flyer before doing that. I went in all reckless like, and now I got hosed. And don't tell me to take it back, I'm not taking jelly beans back, I'll eat the jelly beans. They were only 99 cents. I'm not going to take these back and be like, oh, I don't want these now. These are 99 cent jelly beans. I used a dollar extra buck. So I was like, oh crap. And then I'm going to have an extra penny left over. And I'll be over a penny. So I looked at their Valentine's Day clearance. And I got some happy Valentine's Day. These are Elmer chocolate. These are 37 cents, which is a savings of a dollar and 12 cents. I paid a total of 36 cents for a bag of jelly beans and a heart, some chocolate to get to your partner's heart for 36 cents. I did use that dollar extra buck and as you can see, I didn't get no extra bucks back. So I lost 99 cents. Um, I saved $2.12 year to date savings of $190.18, which doesn't seem like that much because we're already to March, but it's okay. Oh, well, when you do weeks like this where there's not much out there, I mean, there are some decent deals if you're looking at some fish oil or osteobiflex, flexamin, buy one, get one free. That's a limit of six. They have buy one, get one free batteries. There's a Colgate Optic White promotion. If you have some of the coupons that were in like the All You magazine, I believe, you can get that semi-cheap, but it's still not cheap enough for me. And this one's not bad. Buy one, get one free Arm & Hammer again, Pure X and the Crystals. But yeah, it's not good enough for me, so I did not buy it. But all in all, it's a slow week, so there you go. That's all I have for you. And I'm back, 
I still have a little bit of nasal congestion, but that's not, this is kind of left over. And I told you last week I was going to knock it out all day, Gatorade and chicken soup. By the end of Sunday, I was feeling pretty good, so that seemed to work. So if you're sickly, just chug Gatorade and chicken noodle soup. Campbell's at that, it's Campbell's brand. Got to pimp Campbell's. All right, until next week, hopefully it's a more exciting week. Over and out.